And now to kick off this amazing live show, we're gonna have Hugh Miles singing in our intro song, Barking Mad. Everybody wants a piece of me, but pain and sorrow are all I see. We're together still, but you say, my love, don't pay no bills. If the sun don't shine, it'll probably rain. There's a light in the tunnel, I think it's a train. Best chance we ever had to give up now would be barking mad. Making plans and scheming schemes, look out babe, this is the dream. My own boss, I got it made, I'm gonna get rich if I ever get paid. If the sun don't shine, it'll probably rain, there's a light in the tunnel, I think it's a train. Best chance we ever had to give up now would be barking mad. However cold the weather, we are growing old together. Close your eyes, the future's bright. Hold your breath and hold on tight. I'm so lucky I have you. You've got me. That'll have to do. Everybody wants to get paid. Jam tomorrow, but there's none today. This would be worthwhile if I could only see you smile If the sun don't shine, it'll probably rain There's a light in the tunnel, I think it's a train Best chance we ever had to give up now would be barking mad La 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 la, I must be barking mad Okay, okay. So thank you for listening in here on Colourful Radio. And if you've just joined us, just to remind you, this is Barking Mad, the comedy drama that's here every single Sunday on Colourful Radio. Okay, so now we are going to go on to episode 11 of Barking Mad. Marcia! 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 <sighs> Good morning, Heather. How are you today? I am not happy. Well, there's a surprise. What could possibly be wrong today that you didn't think was wrong yesterday, or the day before, or every day since you moved in? Your husband is molesting me. What? You're kidding. What are you saying, Heather? I have been molested by Andy. Uh, Now, that's a rather serious accusation, Heather. One that I find extremely hard to believe. It's true. I woke up this morning to find him there, molesting me. For real? You woke up and he was molesting you? Uh, In what way? What did he do exactly? I just told you, he was in my womb. And? And what? What happened next? I came here to tell you. So he didn't touch you physically? No, don't be disgusting. (laughs) But you said he molested you. Yes, be beating me in my womb and waking me up with his drunken snoring. Oh, thank God. I mean, that's terrible that he was in your room. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'll come and get him now. Oh, what's going on with Andy Marcia? He has been drunk for the last two weeks. I have no idea. He refuses to tell me what's going on, but one way or another, I'm going to get it out of him today. You'll need to get him to stop drinking long enough to tell you. We can help with that. If there any of us see him drinking alcohol today, we must take it off him or tell Marcia. That would be great. Thanks, ladies. We'll get to the bottom of this. Though I've got a horrible feeling I know what it could be. It could be what? Nothing. Uh, oh. I don't want to say it until I know for sure. And I'm too scared to say. Right, come on, let's go get my drunk husband out of your room. Morning, all. Morning, Andy. Morning, Marcia. Morning. Out, I told you before, no drunks in my kitchen. My hotel, my kitchen, my panic room. Is it finished yet, Barry? Wow, you look really rough, Andy. Are you okay? What's happened? Nothing, just a great night out. Ooh, ooh, yeah, it's ooh, still going on, looks like. Andy! Where did you get that from? I literally just searched you. Come on, hand it over. Thank you. Whatever. Can we go upstairs now? I want to start getting you sobered up. Well, I told you I need to check on the work. So come on, Barry, will you be done soon? Depends on what you call soon. I call yesterday soon. It's a panic room and I'm in a panic. Or I will be soon. We all will be. So, what's happening, Andy? Why are we building this? Uh, Is James Bond coming? Does he need somewhere to hide from one of his arch enemies? Uh, It's all very exciting and mysterious. Like, nothing's happening. Everything's fine. But you just said we're all going to be in a panic. Except for me, the great Chef Benedict never panics. I was talking figuratively. Andy, you need to tell me what on earth's going on. It's nothing. Again, how did you do that? 
Where on earth are you keeping those bottles, Andy? Right, upstairs now. Maybe we should be making this panic room a bit bigger. Right. Talk to me, because that's what we do. We talk to each other and work things out between us. They're going to kill me. Who? The Colombian? Sebastian? Diego? Yeah. What? Why? Oh my god, Andy. Andy, why? Did they say when? How? They haven't said anything yet, because they don't know what I've done. And what have you done? I was upset and angry. They took my hotel from me. What are you talking about? We still have the hotel. But I lost all the control. They even put Wallace in charge of me while they were away. I know you told me, but what did you do? I borrowed some of their money to start investing. You... you borrowed some of their money? Are you crazy? What the hell do you know about investing? Well, Felix suggested a book. A book? You read a book. One book and suddenly you're an expert and can go gamble money you stole from the Colombian body snatchers. I'm so sorry, Moss. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm guessing you've lost it all. That's why you can't just put it back. No, at first, I tripled it. You tripled it. You tripled it and you didn't walk away. <laughs> what were you thinking? I was thinking... You weren't thinking. You were thinking you were an expert because you read one stupid book. Oh my God, Andy. I'll leave. Then they'll just come after me. <laughs> Not before they've taken us out first. <laughs> I've totally screwed up. Hey, you think? You've signed our death warrants just because you felt at a loose end without a hotel to fix up. I don't believe you've done this. How much did you steal? I didn't steal it. I only borrowed it. Well, how much? Can we raise the money? Can we pay it back? No. How much, Andy? 10,000. 10,000? 10,000 pounds? Are you serious? I'm sorry. I know it was stupid. Stupid? No, Andy, it wasn't stupid. When you left the milk out all night, that was stupid. Stealing 10,000 pounds from the Colombian drug dealers isn't stupid. It's a flippin' death wish. Oh my God, Andy, what are we going to do? We can't even borrow it from the bank because of the last stupid loan you took out. There's no way we'll get anyone to lend us a grand. Or ten grand, at that fact. We're totally screwed. Where are you going? To pack a few bits for me and Shiran. At least I can get him somewhere safe while we figure out how we're going to get out of this mess. Oh, Mars, I should be the one getting out of here. I'm sorry. Don't touch me. And instead of sitting around drinking and feeling sorry for yourself, use this time to try and figure out an escape plan. <laughs> Wait. I just thought, is this what the panic room was all about? Well, I thought you and Sharon would be safe in there. Oh, and screw the rest of the staff who've been like family to us, right? Come on, Sharon, let's go. I'll be at my sister's for now. I'll call you once we get there. Mars, I'm sorry. You know Barry the Builder guy did the work on the hotel with his cute son Steve? Come on, Heather, I wasn't even here and I remember them. I don't know any builders, buddy. Anyway, Barry was telling me that Andy's asked them to build a panic room in the kitchen and that we're all going to be panicking pretty soon. Really? Yes, really. And now Marcia's just gone storming out with Sharon and she sure looks to be in a panic. <gasps> Andy, is everything all right? You look like you're in a panic. What is going on? Why must we all panic? Nothing. You don't have to panic about anything. Are you sure? That's not what we heard. Did you see Marcia leave? She forgot her phone. Yeah, but at this rate you won't catch up with her. Oh, I'll go get my car keys. No! Damn it, Heather. Move out of my way. I need to catch Mars. Not by car you want. Well, I will if you get out my way. No! You are still drunk. You can't drive. I'll be fine. I'm not that drunk. That's exactly what I say on the day of my accident. Wait, I thought you were hit by a drunk driver. No! Are you dick? I was drunk driver! <laughs> How could you lie about something like that? I never lie. I was drunk. I drove. I crashed. I killed my baby. What? You killed your baby? That's awful. You must be devastated. He was getting old. The fire brigade saved his body for me and I buried him in the back garden. Was your baby a dog, Heather? Please say yes. Of course. Bebo was a dog. You too drunk. You don't drive. Marcia said she'd call me later. If she doesn't have her phone, she won't be able to. And if you're dead, she won't be either. She won't be able to either. Ah, don't worry, Andy. Problem solved. Marcia's back. Oh, hi, Marcia. Oh, and welcome back, Sebastian. Diego, we've missed you. Hello, Wallace. Hello, Miss Wang. Hello, Andrew. Marcia, 
What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> they, they, they saw us at the entrance to the station and picked us up. They know, Andy. They know. Now, everybody gather in the dining room. We are going to have a family meeting now. Let them go. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. You are in no position to be giving orders. But this was all my fault. No one else knew anything about this but me. Hush, Please. Andrew. You've been told to get in the dining room. Now go, all of you. Please, don't do this. Everyone just stay where you are. Sebastian, Diego, please just listen to me for a minute. Marcia only just found out today, and this is the first time anyone else even found out there was a problem. Please, just let them go. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Andrew, your content's excuses is annoying. Disappointing and annoying. Very, very annoying. Everybody wants a piece of me A pain and sorrow are all I see We're together still but you say my love won't pay no bills If the sun don't shine it'll probably rain There's a light in the tunnel, I think it's a train Best chance we've ever had To give up now would be barking mad Everybody wants to get Barking Mad is written, directed and produced by Jacqueline Malcolm Carol Malcolm and Marva Gregorio de Souza. Executive producer is Eva Christine Ingram. Performed by David Gurney, Verona Rose, Ian Pink, and Josie Mills. Original music by Francis Hugh Miles. Barking Mad. One hotel, one couple, two dreams. I must be barking mad.